Hey everybody, it's Tamika, and I am here to show you a um, 6x6 mini chipboard album that's going to be up on eBay. And this is my second video. I posted this video yesterday, um, so a few of you have seen it. It's the same exact thing, um, so you can, you know, move on to the next video, but um, I don't want to put you through the torture again. But I was going through cleaning up my YouTube videos of the, you know, the videos that are aborted or the failed ones, so I was deleting those out of the little boxes and accidentally deleted, removed the video that I uploaded yesterday. So here it is again. So you, you, um, you won't get to hear all the annoying excitement, so I guess that's a plus. Um, so this is using the Pink Paisley Butterfly Garden Collection. Uh, shout out to Jade from Jada Studios who posted on her Facebook. Uh, HSN had this collection on sale, and it was an excellent deal. It was like I think it was like 33 or $36, but you got, excuse me, <coughs> you got, um, 10, 10 or 12, 12 by 12 sheets from the collection, stickers, pop dots, ephemera, um, baubles, you know, um, stamps, a, a lot of stuff. So this, this mini album was actually created by itself. I just plastered the paper on there. Um, so anyway, let's get to it. And here it is. That's annoying. There we go. It's so cute. I love it. I love all of the stuff from this collection. I'm going to have to start buying um, some of the things that go along with the mini album because it makes it so much easier to do that. Um, so here it is. This is using the 3D pop-up dots, uh, 3D pop-up butterflies from the collection. And this one is a smaller one of that. I think it came six I think six came with the with the kit. And then I Am Rose's Flowers. These are my ultimate favorite. The two-tone. I love those. And I have some Prima Bling in the background. Swirling up here and down here. And I got it from Shantae. She, as she calls it, hit a lick. And she bought a ton of it. Because she got it on sale from where she's from. And I bought some from her. So thank you, girl, for the opportunity for sharing. Appreciate it. And... Excuse me, I um, got a cough drop. I have strep, so I have to apologize to Shandy, who I was fussing at for crafting while she was sick. But I see you cannot not scrap. So I'm at home today. And um, anyway, this is from the Prima Collection. Um, these vintage trinkets that I got. So cute. I love them. And I know that my friend said, don't buy these because I'm not going to want to give them away. And I don't, but it goes with the collection. It's so cute. Um, I love it. I have some fibers. It's bound using two binding rings. And, and I use my EK Success Punch for um, some decorative edge. What else is on here? Uh, this Michaels, this is from the season co seasonal section. These little, these little buds. Let me see. It would be better if I... It's on a branch. It comes like this. I think it was $5.99 or $6.99. But you get a big circle wreath, wreath of it. So these little things. And it went it went perfect with it. So I added it. And, um... Oh, this spring is using... I bought, uh... These, um... Little stone things from Michaels. These brass coins. And then, if you think about it, I was trying to spell out spring on the mini album. But these things are huge, so it just looked like a sore thumb. But I saw, I thought on the back of the package it had all of the letters that are included in the package. This is the backing. So it says all of these letters are included and it shows you. But it's an exact paper replica of what's in there. So I just punched out spring. So two double uses is a bonus. So you kind of get two. And that's using the half inch um, punch. So let's get started. And um, this album, I think I did say is on eBay, but there's pictures, uh, close-up pictures, because I won't be, um, I won't take long doing this. This is using the Botanical Collection from Prima, and I have four flat back pearls, and it went perfect. The colors go perfect, perfect with the collection. And, <coughs> sorry. This paper collection um, just spoke for itself. All I did was add, I added some pearls over here. And um, these are from the kits that I have available. These are the leftovers. They're from the Can Company Susan Winget collection. And they're 3D. They're popped up. So 
so that went perfect with that so I added that on there this is also from the Susan Winget collection and um, sorry I was second take on this video this is also from the Susan Winget collection I added some flat back pearls and this is from the packaging um, pa the pink paisley packaging you can use that as a picture and I just um, backed it with some cardstock and then I used the rub on from the collection this is a border strip from um, the Kane Company collection. They use huge place for a photo and then you can use that as a tag to put in there. This paper was so pretty, this image, and this is that birdcage and I just loved it. So I left it like it was and I just added flat back pearls and then some stitching around the edges. The next page, brown, my favorite, favorite color. Um, I did a making in the making a video in the making, a mini album in the making video, but I don't have the talent like some of you other ladies have as far as editing and, and it took me like seven hours to do this mini because I kept messing up so I only could condense it to like 40 minutes so if you're interested in seeing it, I'll upload it but somebody had asked if I would do one two people and I didn't think anybody cared you know to see you know, that but if you're interested I'll upload it but it's funny what, what I was originally gonna say is I punched these holes on the wrong side so this is what I used to cover those holes and it's um, some some Prima trim rose uh, lace and then I just glimmer mist it in the chocolate covered cherries some more of those butterflies <clears throat> and those pop dots and then some uh, just recollection so it's Prima trim and then a photo mat, uh, stitch the photo mat. This page is using the Tim Holtz top note die. I just cut it off. I used some of the rub ons from the collection for the borders and then a rub on for the cage. And then it's a pocket. Picture uh, could fit up there. And then this is using Basic Gray's uh, Take Note collection. A uh, little collage here. This is acetate. And I have a little brad, Tim Holtz brad there holding it together. And you can put a picture here and then you can journal here and on the back if you do so wish and then this one I just cut out using um, just a, using a, pa a pattern paper from the back and then I used regular cardstock and I stamped it with some of the image stamped images from the collection and colored them in with my Copics and um, this is the iron rose flower that I glimmer missed it with the chocolate covered cherries if it's in there I love this page this page is, <clears throat> I used some of this, the other trim that I got from Michaels, not trim, but the, from the Garden Seasonal Collection. And this is uh, pink and cream, but it's so cute. It has these little plastic um, bead things on them. Anyway, they went with it. I used the MFT Rose Flowers with paper from the collection. And this is I Am Roses, some more Prima um, bling coming out and this is the paper here all oh, that's the paper I just added brought out the flowers in the dimensional see so cute huge place for a photo mat another photo stitching this one I love it looks like springtime lovebird this is uh, from the ephemera from the collection frame of bling going up look like they're singing their love song and it opens just like that Other places for a photo mat <clears throat> This is a pocket page. I like to create these using the paper collection and then their epoxy stickers, some treasures nest, treasures nest trim at the bottom and again is stitched. It's a magnet closure. Allows places for journaling and pictures in here. And then this is a birdcage stamp and then another stamp um, in that collection as well. Close that up like that. This is another piece from the Take Note journaling. Um, basic gray and I just hot glued a uh, tr trim around it and then I popped uh, some more of those flowers from the Can Company um, butterfly Can Company's line from Susan Widget and then the butterfly from the collection that's up on pop dots and that's a place for a huge picture and then that swings around using I have a brad right there big place for journaling so and then I just backed it up on some of the pattern paper from the Pink Paisley collection I love it that's so cute I like doing that. I was playing with that like all day. <clears throat> and then the last page is um, I have some Prima trim and then some flat back, flat back pearls lining that. These two are photo mats. 
This is from that stamp that's on the other page. It's a stamp just like that. So you focus. And then the bird cage on the back. And that's a journaling stamp on the back. Sorry, I keep losing the focus here. Okay. And then this one is a huge photo mat. And then it's stitched as well. So, um, the photo mats, when you're done putting your picture in there or whatever you're putting there, you can stick some other stuff in here. You just put your tags back. I left this empty for whatever it is you guys want to do. And then the back has some more of that collection. And then we're back around to the front with the little tiny bird cage. Anyway, sorry guys. Um, I deleted it for those of you who get it again. But um, this is the 6x6 six six Pink Paisley Springtime Mini Album. If you're interested, click the link below and then I'll have pictures to follow this. Thanks guys. Have an awesome day.